Hey, greetings, good afternoon from the Noosa River. We've uh, been chasing a little bit of a fuel gremlin out of uh, the uh, Mariner 15 horsepower two-stroke here this afternoon. And this has been an ongoing thing actually and uh, I'm a bit surprised because a friend of mine told me years ago it's always fuel, it's always fuel. Or 95% of the time it's fuel when you're having trouble with your outboard and uh, well I actually think it's more like 100%, you know, so replacing spark plugs, checking plugs, it's never this or at least re very rarely. Anyway, so we chased uh, underneath the cowling there, there's a filter and that's got a bit of grub in it. And the fuel line here, I've always been a fan here. Ever since about 2003, I've always used something like this Ryko glass bowl water separating fuel filter here on the outboard. We've just mounted it with silicone or sicker. It's always a great place to go. And that's been the reason that I've enjoyed so much, so many happy days with the, with the Mariner because... Uh, that water separating uh, an oversized, overdone fuel filter has always blocked it out. But uh, lately, we've been starting her up, and if she runs the full revs, it's been stopping uh, and takes a bit to get going again. So, and that's over sort of five minute start stops, or just after going full to full revs. And uh, what I've actually found here is that uh, the fuel line. Now, this must have happened over so many years. This is the old fuel line here, but uh, I'll try and blow in here. Yeah, nothing. This fuel line is, believe it or not, after we replaced everything else, uh, the, the, the pump, the, the little bulb, the uh, fuel filter, we had a look all through the system. We even started to suspect that our problem might have been in there with our uh, the uh, the screen or there's some sort of dirt in the pickup in the fuel tank. And um, no, it wasn't that either. What we've actually found is that the fuel line has been uh, filled up with this gummy type substance. So I take it when I've left this motor for to sit around for a couple of uh, months during summer and stuff like that and fail to drain out the fuel then the fuel line has uh, and the fuel has gummed up and created this this horrible residue and there's some really big flaky bits here this is I've prodded this out with the screwdriver out of the out of the uh, out of the fuel line but despite getting out all that yeah there's still this is still very blocked out so how about that for a bit of a surprise so uh, yeah 99% of the time it's fuel in your outboard and uh, and never be surprised if uh, after replacing filters and uh, checking the pickups and the uh, the, the uh, bulb there, the, the, the priming bulb, that uh, you might even find it's the hose, believe it or not. So that's our lesson for this weekend. Um, enjoy your boating and uh, never be surprised if anywhere on the fuel line, that's where your drama is.